sitting right next to the Sky Tree Tower right now and um, here we're at the Sumida River and it's really pretty and it's lit up and colorful which is pretty cool. So this is my third day in Tokyo and I've been filming a ton of footage but I haven't been doing a very good job at explaining things or talking to you guys. Uh, look at the light show behind me, wow. Um, so I thought I would just sit down in this quiet place where people will stop laughing at me for talking to myself um, and just chat with you guys about what I've done and where, yeah, just how it's been going. So the first day I came over from SFO, I had a layover at LAX and it was a really short layover. I almost was not let on board. The lady was like, no, you can't go. And then the other flight uh, attendants were like, oh, there's still a seat. We gave away your original seat, but you can still have another seat, which was very nice. I was glad those ladies were there at the gate because otherwise she would have closed the door on me. Um, so I got on my flight, had my, I think a 10 hour flight over to Narita. is about an hour away from Tokyo the city so that involves another train ride I did get a JR pass so it was very easy I took the Narita Express <laughs> walked around a little bit, I saw the uh, Imperial Palace Gardens. I finally figured how to get out, you guys. It was really crazy in there.
walked around Ginza a little bit and I honestly don't really know where I was going I just walked and walked <laughs> I actually looked up this place but I didn't actually plan on walking here that day but I was really glad I stumbled into it this is the Tokyo International Forum which is sort of like this large exhibition hall At the time I was there, they're having a show on Japanese fabrics, which is kind of cool. I didn't go inside, but I just looked around the building. It's just a really cool building to begin with. As you can see, there's like fabric swatches all over, so I would, you know, I have to touch one. <laughs> Here you can have a little glimpse of what the exhibition hall looks like. And right next door, you can see through the windows, is another building that has a lot of restaurants and shopping. So if you're hungry, there's a lot of options right next door. I decided I wanted to get a drink from a vending machine. Which one should I get? <laughs> I think I'm going to go for straight tea. Many people. On the flight, I watched three movies because I couldn't fall asleep and I tried sleeping between each movie. And if you're curious, I watched Finding Vivian Mayer, which was recommended to me. She has a channel one book, one review. And when I talked about Vivian Mayer in my selfie five and five, she recommended that I check out that documentary. Um, it was super interesting. It's about the guy who the guy who discovered her work basically made the documentary, he co-produced it and everything um, and he basically tries to track her down and find, she worked as a nanny so he found all the kids she used to nanny and um, just what kind of personality was she, why did she hoard so many things and why was she so prolific of a, a photographer that she never even shown her work in her life. Yeah, if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. I highly recommend it. Second movie I watched was Begin Again, I think it's called. It's the one with Keira Knightley and... I blanked out on his name just now, but he played the Hulk. I feel really bad, I forgot his name. Um, but Adam Levine is in it and CeeLo has like a star appearance, which is pretty funny. Um, 
The movie was alright. I was also listening with like the free headphones that the airline gives you. So the so the headphones were pretty bad and the sound was horrible. I don't know why I watched a movie about like songwriting and singing. Listening with such bad headphones just made it so much worse than it really needed to be. Um, so I'm yeah. I'm sorry. And then the third movie I watched was uh, The Great Beauty, I think. I forget what it's called. It's an Italian film. I think it was an Academy Award winning film. Um, I actually watched about half of it before I got really tired. Um, I kind of get to this point where I'm so tired but I can't sleep and I just zone out no matter what I do but I still can't sleep which is crazy. I don't know, do you guys fall asleep easily on planes? Because I know some people definitely just knock out as soon as they get on the plane. I am definitely not one of those people. I really wish I was. <laughs> and, then, and then I went to ski -G. Another really cool building that I looked up before but kind of just stumbled across, which is awesome. This is the Kabuki Za. I believe it's a Kabuki theater and it has this really cool exterior. I'm sure the interior is also really cool, but it was late by the time I got there. But yeah, this is only two blocks away from the place I stayed at that night. Also, there's vending machines where you order tickets of what you want to eat. I ordered this on a machine. Which, if you don't know, the CG fish market is, um, I guess, one of the largest fish markets in the world. I'm not sure, actually. I should probably fact check things before I tell you guys. But they're really known for their tuna auctions. They have these huge frozen tunas and every morning or of their working calendar they have tuna auctions where major restaurants or distributors <laughs> come and <clears throat> they come in and basically bid on the tuna and as a tourist you can actually go there and watch so many people <laughs> so yeah the thing is, if you want to go and watch it, they only have 120 slots and the first 120 people who show up gets the slot. You can't pre-book it, you have to line up very early in the morning. It's basically 3 a.m. if you want to get into the first batch. Um, and I'm not sure, if it's probably, it was probably full by like 4 or something like that. It fills up really quickly, so you definitely have to go there early and wait. Since subways don't run 24 hours in Tokyo, you have to figure out how to get to Skiji Market um, really early in the morning. So you have a couple options. There are like hotels and places you can stay overnight, um, but that can get kind of expensive. A really cheap option, which is what I did, is stay at a manga cafe called the Kam Kam Manga Cafe. It's probably only a 10 minute walk away from the market. It was really convenient. And the nice thing is that if you stay at a manga cafe, you only have to pay for however long you want to stay. So there's a three hour package and there's a seven hour package. And then if you wanted to stay longer, you can. But obviously I checked in at nine and I, I left at two or three. I checked in at nine and left at three. So I had the seven hour package and that was a really reasonable price basically. If you don't know what a manga cafe is, basically a room full of manga which are Japanese comic books and there's little booths where you can have a computer or a TV monitor and people go there to read manga, watch movies, access internet or charge your phone. So you do get your own little booth and it kind of has privacy. Um, it's not something you can like lock and keep your belongings or anything like that. It was definitely a great option for what I wanted it to do basically, which is not bad. Totally not bad. By the way, for the manga cafe, it is sort of like a bring your own stuff. You can rent things or like buy things, but obviously that would cost money. So if you do plan on staying at a manga cafe, I highly recommend that you bring a eye mask and some earplugs because they don't turn off the lights at night and um, a lot of other people are snoring at night and everyone's pretty close by. So if 
that kind of thing bothers you, bring your own earplugs so you don't hear anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you do, please stay tuned for the next one, which is really exciting because I basically wake up at 2 a.m. or so to go to the fish auction. And it's just a really long day, but it's really cool. So I hope you guys subscribe and stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next one.